Hello, this is Marbos here and welcome back to the Long War. So, let's continue where we left off and scan for some activity. I'm not sure if we're going to get any more missions in March. Let's find out. Commander, the satellite is done. Now I can launch it. I have a few options here, but I'm going to launch it in Australia. I won't get as much money from that, but I'll get a little bit of extra aim for gunners and rocketeers. So that's useful. Done. Alright, what else can we do in our base? Not a whole lot. I'm mostly waiting for the generator. I can start the elevator as soon as the generator is done. So let's start the access lift. And keep scanning. I don't think we'll get any more missions in March. Doesn't look like it. Alien materials research is almost done. We might actually get one more mission. If I can shoot down the UFO. It's unlikely, but I said the same thing in the previous two times. So hey, who knows? Getting free crash sites in the first month would be awesome. We shot it down. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. We'll be doing one more mission in March then. Let's have a look then. I'll probably bring a rookie squad here. I got quite a few decent rookies still. So... What about this guy? His health is not amazing, but 71 aim is nice. Who else? 68 aim, 67... I'm looking at people with decent health first. So... 66 and 4 health. I don't like 11 mobility, that's just so low. Oh yeah, Katya. 67 aim, 4 hit points and 13 mobility. That's pretty good. Who else? 65 aim for hit points, 13 mobility. That's also decent. And who else? 4 hit points, 13 mobility. Yep, that's nice. And two more people. I might bring some specialists this time. Let's bring an assault to handle the outsider. And who else? Maybe a sniper. 76 aim sniper. Or Budiman Budyaman. <laughs> yeah, let's bring this guy. Okay, so that's our squad. You will get some AP grenades. Carbine. To improve his mobility slightly. I could give him an SMG. But... Well, maybe that's not a bad idea. His aim is pretty good. And he will have 13 mobility. Yeah, that will be useful for the grenades. I might even give him a tactical vest, but that will reduce him to 6 hit points. Okay, 7 hit points and 13 mobility is decent. Let's change this dude's color real quick. Right, so... I don't think I'm going to change this at all. This is fine. Next up are rookies. They will get mostly the same setup. I might give them both high explosive grenade and AP grenade at the same time. Instead of laser sight. Yeah, okay. Let's give them AP grenades. Might be useful. Carbine. And one last person. AP grenade. Actually, you can keep the flashbang grenade. That's fine. He doesn't actually need a carbine. He can keep the assault rifle. 21 aim is fine. I just don't like his health. 5 health is kind of low. In fact, I'm going to give him ceramic plating. Yeah, that's better. And we're ready. Let's go then. Should be a quick mission. It's just a small UFO. Oh, this map. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of this map. Because some of the alien groups can start on the high ground. But it could have been worse. Alright, here we are. Can we see some meld? No. I can't see any close to us at least. Alright, let's move then. And spread out a little bit. Send the assault. But let's stay in cover. Like so. You can go here. 
Like this. And one last person. Bodyman. Alright, Overwatch. Bodyman might be one of the officers. I'll probably promote him to an officer. But it will take a while to actually get an officer training school still. Right, let's move. The UFO should be this way, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Let's go that way then. But I don't want to trigger the outsider just yet. That would be bad. Just move slightly closer. See if we can find anything. No. Okay then. Nice full cover here. More cover. Well, there has to be at least one group other than the outsider. Might be nice to find them first. They are this way. It would also be nice to get the meld. But this is a pretty big map. There is some meld this way apparently. Oh, I can see it. Let's try to get that then. But there is a group in this general direction. Dash into cover. Let's move everyone this way then. Should be fine. Just dash all the way. I don't think this will trigger anything. It shouldn't. I'm not uncovering any fog with this move. Keep moving. And dash. Okay, done. I need two turns to get the meld. Actually, can I run and gun towards the meld? With my assault? I can! And I think I will, because it might be gone on the next turn. Where's that group? I can't see it. Okay, let's run and gun to get the meld. I definitely want that. It's technically a little bit risky, because I could have triggered a group right here. But we got the meld, that's what matters. That's plus 9 meld. Very nice. So I know there's a group in this general direction still. Let's try to find it before we go for the outsider. There's no huge rush. And Overwatch. Come on. What's this? Hide and seek. Okay, that's probably the outsider. It might not be. That group is probably a patrol. So they are most likely moving around. There should also be one more melt container somewhere. Maybe we can find it on the way. I'm just avoiding the UFO to not trigger the outsider. And we got our first group of floaters. Now floaters are quite nasty. Let's see. They are not flying yet. Maybe we can hit them before they start doing it. I don't have running gun because I used it. But I could move towards them. Here, for example. They won't see me there. So I might get a chance to kill one on the next turn. Can I use an AP grenade? No, I can't quite reach them. I can take a shot from up here. 57%? Not bad. Can anyone else take a shot? Maybe. No. So I can take two shots. One with 57%, one with 41%. That's unlikely to give me a kill. It might be better to just hunker down. And wait for their mob. Yeah, I won't kill them on this turn. I'll just hunker down. Maybe overwatch with bodyman. 41%, yeah, I prefer to overwatch actually. So overwatch, overwatch, and you can hunker down. And here comes another group, sectoids. Overwatch, nice. My assault is very close, so hopefully I'll be able to get a kill with shotgun to the face. Need to kill the floaters first. All right, that's actually fine. Might be able to destroy his cover with a grenade. Overwatch, nope. Missed. The downside is that this one floater will be flying now. So it will be harder to hit it. He missed. Okay, I can shoot this guy in the face. Probably a good idea. Let's do exactly that. I need a crit to get a kill. 
Or not? <laughs> That's not actually enough. Okay, then. Now I could throw a grenade and it would give me a kill or I can shoot him in the face with Bodyman. Sure, let's do that then. That's some experience for Bodyman. Could have used the pistol there, but whatever. Now, what about that other floater? I can't kill that one. I could kill this one, the one on Overwatch. But then I'll probably get flanked. They can't actually see me. I could also throw a flashbang grenade to disable Overwatch. But obviously then I won't be able to use the assault. I could move closer and then throw an AP grenade. That's also an option. What about the sectoids? What are my chances to hit? 57%? That's not terrible. Let's try. Nice. Okay, good. So, flashbang grenade and then AP grenade. That's probably the best plan. That's the best plan I see, at least. Okay, let's do it. This floater on the left shouldn't be a big threat. He can't flank anyone. No, he can't flank anyone. Alright, let's use the flashbang grenade then. Like so. That disables Overwatch. And I can throw an AP grenade from here, perhaps. I don't want to move too close to the UFO. Alright, here should be fine. Throw AP grenade. I'm almost too far away. Okay, go. This won't give me a kill, but it should be good damage. Or not. Only one damage, really? Okay, then. Still useful, but I was hoping to get more than one damage. 26%. No, that's a bit of a waste. Steady weapon. He has a name penalty now, so I'm not too worried about that. Sectoid is coming. Or not. What is he going to do? He will use the launch ability. And now I can flank him easily. Maybe get another kill for Bodyman. Here comes the other floater. Oh, he can see my assault now. That's probably not great. Okay. That was not very nice. But it does give me an easy kill. I do have run and gun. Ideally, I'd like to kill everything here. Both floaters and the sectoid. So let's see what our options are. First of all, let's kill that floater. Bodyman could use another kill. Oh, he's out of ammunition. Well, he does have a pistol. So I can still get a kill for him. Like this. Take a shot. Don't miss with 99%. Okay, free damage. Now I can get a kill with the pistol. Like so. Rip. And that's another kill for him. Now. 41%. I want to be able to kill the sectoid on this turn. Unless I do it with the assault. But if I do it with the assault, I want to be able to kill the floater. I can't actually see the floater from where I'm standing. Which is funny. It would be safer to just get the heck out of here. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Get the heck out of here. It's too risky staying there. Because the sectoid might flank me. And we wouldn't want that, would we? No, definitely not. I can still take a shot from back here. 61%. Because I'm using steady weapon. Let's go for it. Nice. It's unlikely that I'll kill the floater now, but I can do some damage at least. 41%. And that's a kill! <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that one. Now we just have to deal with the sectoid and then with the outsider. The sectoid might be on overwatch now. So let's be careful. Bodyman needs to reload. So reload. This guy will stay where he is. Yep. And we can move a little bit. I can see the sectoid. No, the music changed. Overwatch. I know he's there, obviously. Overwatch in case he moves. Come here. We got a welcoming committee. Just for you. 
That is. Kill it. Nice. Alright, done. Just need to handle the outsider now. It shouldn't be too hard. But need to be careful still. Outsiders are nasty. I'll need to use running gun, preferably with a grenade. From body man. Okay, let's position ourselves a little bit better first. Before triggering him. You can actually stay up here maybe. For now. Reload. Right, let's move as close as possible without triggering the outsider. Okay, that's probably about as close as I can go without triggering him. Okay. Move everyone. Here should be safe. Okay, good. Reload. And that's about it. One more person. And she has some grenades. Here should be fine. Okay, go. And reload. Now I can move in on the next turn. I can try to move a little bit closer. Keep someone just behind the wall. But this move might still trigger the outsider. That's definitely a possibility. It probably will. Now it won't? Okay. That's fine. Can we move a few more people closer? Not much closer. Maybe I'm being a little bit too careful here, but no, I don't think so. Outsiders could easily one-shot any of these soldiers right now. So, yeah. There's no huge rush anyway, we're not on a timer. I already got one melt container. Okay, let's move a little bit closer. There he is. So, I need him to move towards me, no? Okay. It would be best to stay out of view. I could stay here. He can't move far enough to flank the assault if I stay behind the wall. So that's what we can do, and then use the alien gun on the next turn. Yeah, yeah, alien flight computer. We get it, you want it. Can we continue now? We always take great care. <laughs> that was such a lie. So let's set up an overwatch or two. He will probably mob. He will also try to shoot someone, but yeah, there is a risk that he can one-shot any of these soldiers. But that's always the risk at this point. Unless I kill him before he gets a chance to do anything. Which right now I can't. Move out of view. Alright, let him move. There he is. He didn't move a whole lot, unfortunately. And he missed. Now, can we get that kill? I need more damage than just from the assault. So, I'll need some grenades. AP grenades. I need this to do decent damage. Go. Suck on this. Decent. And that's a granted kill. Just need to use run and gun. Didn't even need run and gun actually, but whatever. Good old shotgun to the face. Hi. Meet my shotgun. Rip. And that got him a promotion. Awesome. Let's check our promotions then. Everyone got a promotion except Bodyman. He's up to 5 kills. So let's check the Lance Corporal first. That's going to be what? For an assault, aggression bring a more tactical sense. I'll probably go for bring them on. But aggression is also very good. These are both very good for an assault. I think I prefer aggression. They are both really good. Aggression is useful to get 100% chance to crit. Bring them on is useful to do tons of damage with crits. I think I prefer aggression. To get to 100% chance to crit easier. Alright, go for that. And check our other promotions. So who is this guy going to be? Engineer and Medic are a bit of a waste with 71 aim. 
Let's go for random. Rocketeer. That's not too bad. Next up, what was his mobility again? I can't check anymore. I'll check later. Next up, probably a gunner. These are okay-ish stats for gunners. So gunner. Next up, support. Maybe another medic. I don't have that many medics. These are decent stats for a medic. And last but not least. Infantry. Or another assault. How many assaults do I actually have right now? Let's check that real quick. 16 alloys, 6 celerium, 11 meld. Nice. I can sell the damaged parts right away. Let's check how many assaults we have. I think I have two. That's one, two. No, I have four assaults. Right. And infantry. One, two. Three. I'll probably go for infantry then. Alright, let's go for infantry then. The aim is not amazing for infantry, but could have been worse. Other stats are decent-ish. She would be decent as both. Or I can not promote her just yet. I can promote her later, in case I change my mind. Alright, so let's finish them off real quick. Our research will be done in just two days. Marksman's scope will be done in two days. That was a pretty good first month, I had to say. I'm quite happy with it. So this unlocks alloy plating, heat ammo and phoenix cannon. I definitely want some alloy plating. As for our next research, UFO analysis. Yeah. That will take seven days, unfortunately, but I have to do it. So let's do it. And finish our first month. That's the council report. Yes, they are extremely impressed. So, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.